So many flowers. So little time. Excuse me? Pheromones, Dr. Scully. Heavy in the air. Nature's natural attractants. Driving the insect world to go forth and pollinate. I'm aware how pheromones work. But according to this device, there isn't a single pheromone to be found out here. Well, that can't be right. The biosensor we use is an actual fly antenna over which the pheromones pass. But I modified the EAG to measure in picograms, which makes it sensitive to traces a mile in any direction. But I'm still not sure why you think that pheromones might cause an otherwise harmless fly to attack a human so violently, Doctor. And... Rocky. Rocky. Bugs are small-minded creatures, and therefore very predictable. They don't have moods per se. They react to circumstance and stimuli, as they have been doing it for millennia. So what do you suppose they're reacting to out here? It may be the bugs are being somehow driven crazy with desire. You know, they say we humans respond to pheromones, too. Yeah, I tend to agree with that, Neil. Women's dormitory syndrome. It's believed that pheromones are the reason that women who live together share the same menstrual cycle. Fascinating. You know, when a male and female colliferid fly mate, they stay joined for up to one and a half hours. One and a half, Doctor. You know, Rocky, I'm a mother. Mothers are women, too. Big hit. What is it? A high concentration of C13 coliferone. Incoming 